clerk will read the caption the house resolution 141 House Resolution 141 by Representative Taylor, the 173rd McCall, the 33rd England, and the 116th LaHood of the 175th, Corbett of the 174th, and others. A resolution recognizing February 12, 2019 as Georgia Farm Bureau Federation Day at the State Capitol and for other purposes. Chair recognizes Chairman Darlene Taylor for an invite resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A few years ago, President Eisenhower spoke about farming, saying farming looks mighty easy when your plow is a pencil and you are a thousand miles from the cornfield. Thank goodness we in Georgia know better. And we're here, we are the number one place to do business, and ag is our number one industry. Today we're celebrating the Georgia Farm Bureau Day. Uh, it is a leader, helping our ag stay at the top of the heap. Let us today welcome our Georgia Farm Bureau. With us today is Robert Fountain, Jr., uh, Daniel Johnson, Bernard Sims, and President Gerald Long, who's going to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Thank each one of y'all for declaring today Georgia Farm Bureau Day at the Capitol. I want to thank you, each one of you, for what you do to protect, promote, and manage Georgia. It's a great honor for me to be before you today. I am Gerald Long from Decatur County, president of the Georgia Farm Bureau, a diversified farmer from Decatur County, and I'm sure a lot of y'all realize the devastation that we had on October the 10th of 2018. This was my 45th crop year. I witnessed the droughts of 77, and 80 and thought that was two tough years. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing compared to October the 10th of 2018. A lot of you've been down there, I'm sure, and seen the devastation. It has turned us upside down in southwest Georgia, no doubt about it. There's many, many houses that still has blue tarps on them waiting to be repaired. It'll be years and years for us to recover from this. But that afternoon, after the storm hit that night, the sun came out, we're still here. We're looking forward to put another crop in as the good Lord allows us. But I want to thank you for what y'all done stepped up to the plate in November with the special session to provide the monies for the cleanup and for farmers. It is unbelievable, as I said, of the damage and the cleanup that's got to be done in, in, in the rural communities that some of my question will they'll ever recover. But with y'all's support and y'all's financial help, it has certainly, certainly made a difference. So I want to thank y'all for that. I also want to thank y'all for what you do up here each and every day. <clears throat> you know, us uh, from South Georgia is not used to coming to the big city. And it's a jungle getting into this city early in the morning. There's no doubt about it. But I want to thank you all for what you do every day, as I said earlier, that protects and, and, and pass laws to help us as Georgia residents. Uh, and in agriculture, as you well aware, is the largest business in Georgia to provide food, fiber, and uh, fuel for Georgia and all over the world. I think that's very important. Also, I would like to invite each and every one of you at our luncheon at 12 o'clock at the depot. We would certainly be glad to have you with us uh, to recognize y'all on our behalf. Again, Mr. Speaker, thank you for having us. <coughs> Ms. Chairwoman, thank you for what you do, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 